What's up you guys, Sunny here with GeekTools.net and welcome to App of the Week. Today I have a really cool application for any sort of a beginner music producers or podcasters. It's called Audacity and it's for Mac OS X and Windows and it's absolutely free. So that's really cool. As you can see, the interface is really quite simple. We have some really simple recording tools up here. We have some basic selection tools, levels, uh, level adjustments and uh, input adjustments here. Oh, and also we have some really basic editing tools as well. On the top here are all some more cooler things such as uh, effects, generate, track track options, all of that stuff is up here in the menus. But as you can see the interface is very clean and simple. There's nothing too insane going on here. At the bottom we also have our, our rate, bit rate recording sample and all of our time information also. So let's just record a quick segment. Uh, testing, testing, one, two, three, and that's good enough. So uh, let's have a look at the selection tool. I can go ahead and select a part of the um, of the audio, and I could, let's say, give it an effect here. I could also go ahead and mute this part of the track if I wanted. I could also cut everything out except for that part by using these tools up here. Obviously, undo. Uh, this little button here is to speed up or slow down the track, so that is there if you need it. And uh, on, on, up here, I could uh, go ahead and adjust the levels, so I could make the track louder, you know, softer. That's that option is right there. And if I have multiple tracks here, I could also move the track around to compensate for the other tracks. So that's a really nice option. Uh, effects. There's some really cool effect filters up here. Um, you can repair the audio. We have some echo going on here, equalization. Um, here you can, it's just like a normal iTunes equalizer. You can go ahead and adjust uh, bass, you know, treble, the amount of treble you want, the amount of bass you want using these, this type of a bar here. And you can go ahead and go up and down in certain areas. Let's say I want more of highs. I can just go to the high end and boost that up. And if I want the low end to be really quite low, such as a, you know, negative 30 decibels is quite low. Uh, you can see that I can adjust it to my liking. Um, so yeah, that's there. It's, it's a really simple program when you look at it. However, if you dig around in the menus, there are some pretty advanced uh, options for you to you know play around with, really make the audio sound the way you want it to sound. Uh, I can also generate some stuff if, let's say, um, I'm in a really quiet room like I am now and I want some noise in the background, uh, some sort of effect going on. I can also do that here. So white noise. Uh, I don't know the other type of noises. The only noise I know is white noise. So uh, I, I can adjust it. You can see how fuzzy my audio is. Um, obviously, I really cranked it quite high, the effect quite high. But um, obviously, you can adjust all that in the options. Now, a track. You know, we can, if I have a stereo uh, feed, I can make them into, uh, sorry, <laughs> if I have a stereo feed, I can make them into dual mono, uh, single mono, uh, all that options are here. I could also, if I have multiple samples, I could sync all the samples together, align them together. Uh, all that options is up here. And uh, really, I'm not an audio, you know, huge audio guy. I do like really good sounding quality music and uh, headphones, all that stuff. But I really don't know much about any of the audio options, sample rate, bit rates, all that stuff. I'm not really into. So um, if you, you know, if you're that type of a person and you look through these menus, I think you're going to find a lot of interesting options here. And is really quite a powerful application despite the simple interface. So once again, this is Audacity. It's for both Mac OS X and Windows. I believe it's phenomenal. Um, it really is quite uh, simple, but yet powerful application. And uh, it's available to everyone, you know, all platforms. And uh, I really enjoy it. This is the first application I did my podcast on. And now I'm using GarageBand just because it's integrated into Mac OS X. But if you're using Windows, uh, basically this is GarageBand for Windows. So yeah, check it out. If you guys have any more questions or comments, email me sunny at mastersunny.com. Visit my website geektools.net. Add me on my personal MSN, mastersunny at hotmail.com. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.